Hi everyone, so first of all I started off with this little box frame that I bought. Um, I think I had it from like the range or Wilco's or something like that. Um, and first of all just remove the plastic and this is a hinged um, shadow box frame. So it's already got the hinge built in, so that was good, I didn't have to put that on. What I did need to do though was get rid of the little hanging brackets. Because I wasn't going to hang this on the wall. This is to go on my shelf. Like so. So it's just a case of twisting with pliers to pull those off. And then just pushing the wood back down a little bit. And it's already got the glass fitted as well as the, the um, hinge. And it's got a magnetic closure which keeps it closed and a bit of a padded um, back to it. So that was good. I thought that was quite good. And what I wanted to do was use this to store my plugs and tunnels for my stretch lobes. So what I needed to do was come up with some sort of divider system just so it was nice and easy to find pairs of plugs when I wanted to. So I didn't have to search through a whole box all jumbled up. Um, so first of all I was going to use um, cardboard and make little cardboard dividers but in the end I decided to go for lollipop sticks. Started off by cutting the lollipop sticks to the same size and then started off by making a simple frame and first of all I just used whole lollipop sticks. I just trimmed off the rounded edge and these are like the wider ones. They're more like the tongue depressor size. And I made a basic um, sort of rectangular shape with dividers in, like, as you can see here. And at this point, I'm not worrying about the separate little dividers for each pair of plugs or anything. This is just the basic frame to start off with. And... As you can see, once I had glued that, then that I can work from that and add more to it as I wanted. So what I did first of all was I finished off the side by adding another stick to the side, like so. And this was so that I can finish off that last divide and then the narrow one on the other side I finished off as well and that was somewhere to store the o-rings because they're quite small so I just wanted like a little slot to fit down the side but as it ended up I used that to put LEDs in. Then I cut a few small pieces and stuck those in between the large frame that I made and it made these separate little dividers that I could put my pairs of plugs in and I also left some slightly bigger spaces at the bottom for o-rings and anything spare. Then it was a case of painting everything black um, and I painted the inside and the outside black with acrylic paint. I just made sure that I lightly sanded over the outside a little bit first of all just to make sure it was nice and smooth and to make sure that the paint would stick. Um, because at first it felt like it got a little bit of a finish to it so I wanted to just make sure I could paint and on then it. I took some like little so. silver pieces out I also of my the um, key ring well. and jewellery making supplies to stick on top because I knew I wanted um, black and silver for the sort of colour scheme for this and I just glued on these couple of sun shapes a star, a couple of stars and some moons at this stage I actually had got the box the wrong way around so I will change the um, things I've stuck on around. I realised after I'd glued them on and opened it up that I'd stuck them on the wrong way because if you look the largest slots are on the left they're supposed to be at the bottom so I've actually got to just turn around the decorations which was no, no problem it was just a case of lifting them up and then just turning them around and gluing them back in their same spots and once I fixed that, then it was just a case of making sure that all the black was solid, that I didn't need to touch up any of the paintwork, and I made sure all the inside was painted nice and solidly as well. And then the next thing I did 
was to take some of my gilding wax stuff in silver and brush that over the outside edge of the box. I wanted to give a slightly sort of silver, metallic-y, streaky effect to the outside of the wood. I wanted it to look like it's not brand new um, and also add a bit of a difference in colour. At first it was quite hard to get some of the gilding wax out because it had dried off a bit but I just put a little bit of water in there and then it worked fine. You can do that by the way with these. I've done this a couple of times with this pot of gilding wax. If it um, dries out and it's a water based one like this one is um, then you can just mix a bit of water back in to reactivate it. And I just like the, the effect of it and I like how it gives like a bit of a silver sheen to everything. And I also did the same with the dividers inside the box as well. Again, just to make it look a bit more interesting than just being all plain black. And then once I did that, then it was a case of letting it all dry off and then sorting out all my plugs and tunnels and putting them in there. Um, obviously, you can make the dividers any size you want, depending on the size of your plugs. Mine are 10 mil, so a size, the little squares that I've made are about, I don't know, three centimetres by two centimetres, something like that, or three by three. And that's more than enough to store my plugs. But obviously, if you've got larger plugs, you'll need to make your little dividers bigger. And as you can see, I decided to add some LEDs around the edge and then just box those in with another little bit of wood. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.